Hey, hi everyone. I am Dr. V. I'm Dr. Vernita Glenn White, and I am um, an expansion strategist where I help um, high achieving, um, high performing women, especially those who are trainers, teachers, developers, all of that, um, expand their brilliance beyond their degrees, positions, and titles. And I'm also a consultant where I really focus on bringing heart and soul into a variety of areas within the K-20 school system. So K-12 and higher education, focusing on the leaders there as well, um, or the professors or those who are over um, any type of preparation programs. That's what I do. And um, on this mission to infuse a lot more personal growth and development within um, that system because without that, none of the content really matters. And that's what I've been learning on this journey. So hi, if you're new, um, there are ways to um, connect with me. Those links are in the in the bio, but I also, but for this week, up until Mother's Day, I really want to focus on um, continuing the work that my mother started Bef um, before she passed away. She passed away in 2012. And um, my sister, well, I did, but I had my sister contribute. We wrote a book on her behalf. My mom um, was a Sunday school teacher, Bible study teacher, Sunday school superintendent. She was a traveling evangelist. She led a lot of women, um, women workshops across the state of Florida um, and things like that. She was a speaker. And I know my mom never really reached her full, full potential because of just life or not having um, the, the mentors and things around to push her to that next level. So that's where I am going to pick up, I guess. And, you know, and I, I really do, I think it, for me, really speak, starting to speak at women's empowerment, empowerment conferences and do a lot of transformation work, personal growth work, um, that was not my path. Um, I am a mathematician, a trained mathematician. I have a PhD in mathematics um, education, and that was nowhere near <laughs> what I wanted to do. But there was something that happened that led me down this path, and I'm, I used to fight it, but it's here now. So what I've been doing is reading passages from this book. My mom always wanted to be like this Christian educator. She wanted to write books and have curriculums and all of that really helping young people and young adults um, and the women she worked with get a better connection with God through practical applications. So the book literally is, literally is called Practical Applications for Biblical Principles, Lessons from Our Mother. And um, yeah, don't, don't laugh at the cover. I was in a different space then. So what I've been doing is reading bits and pieces of the passage, um, bits and pieces of the book um, about uh, my mother because I feel that one bringing the book back to life and two a lot of mothers or mother figures who purchased the book before I think um, it's in 2019 when I wrote it they um, would come back and say it blessed their soul as um, parents guardians or caregivers um, it helped to like to fill up their cups so they can talk to their children even their adult children um, I have um, one of my sisters, she she would read it to nighttime stories to my nephew. And I was like, can he understand you? <laughs> um, but she was like, she just wanted him to feel the presence of my mom. And we have different dads. But she wanted him to feel the presence of my mom because, you know, she loved my mother as well. Um, and just like people were just saying very encouraging words. So the book is on Amazon. And again, this is the title. And the link, if you're on Instagram, is also in my bio. And you will see, those of you who want to take that an extra step further, because I did have people who were who were doing looking for their own icebreakers, looking for ways to interact with their youth group youth groups. I've included like a mini course over the um, the spiritual aid first kit. And if you purchase the book, it'll make more sense what that is. And it's also in here. But it's just a way. Um, that spiritual first aid kit. A lot of students, when, when I was in high school, um, my mom had us make our own, and you would literally see kids walking around with their kits. And then my mom made little laminated cards, so when students were getting in trouble or something happened, 
um, when we come back to Bible study, we're like, Miss Connie, you know, I was about to cuss that teacher out, but I looked at my card and I had to say, which one of these uh, tools do I need to use so I don't get kicked out of school and things like that. So my mom had that impact on people. And so what I've been doing is reading some of the icebreakers that she had um, going that she had in the in her Bible study class. So these aren't long. The book, you can tell, the book is very, very slender. So, and it's like 50% off. So I just read the passage just so you can get an understanding. And for me, it's been helpful to have these mornings with my mom, literally, because this was a hard year for me. And it's like, it's been like over nine years, but the grief comes in waves. And this just happens to be one of those um, times. So this is my way of also connecting back with my mom. So in this story, and we call it Miss Connie's Corner, the little um, icebreakers. So it says, these aren't my chips. Presentation matters. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite things that my mom used to do. So tonight, in the Bible study room is full of students. Miss Connie takes out a variety of small chip bags. The variety pack typically includes plain Lay's, sour cream, sour cream and onion, barbecue, Cheetos, and both types of Doritos, like the cheese and the, what you call it, the Cool Ranch. Um, and then the chili, free, the chili cheese Fritos. So y'all know that big variety pack of chips, right? So each student selects their favorite bag of chips based on the outside packaging. But of course they would. Why wouldn't they? Seeing a bag of Cool Ranch Doritos implies that Cool Ranch Doritos will be in this bag. <laughs> like you go get some chips and you expect that the contents to be what you expect on the inside. Um, the students, uh, where am I? Oh, Miss Connie instructs the students to open their bags. The students are all confused and become excited. One student raises his hand, um, Miss Connie, I picked sour cream and onion, but I have chili cheese Fritos <laughs> in my bag. And um, before Miss Connie could respond, several other students began shouting that their bags were different as well. Miss Connie had opened the chip, the chip bags um, at the bottom and switched the contents and hot glued the bags together. So imagine like um, I'm in the class, I know what is happening, but I also have to keep a straight face and participate because I can't let the secret out of the bag. Um, Miss Connie continues with the lesson. Uh, we all have heard the phrase, don't judge a book by its cover, meaning that if you see the cover of a book with a boring title or poor graphics, you may perceive that the message or the plot will be boring or lack quality. Then again, why shouldn't we judge the outside by what is on the inside? Let's think about this a little more deeply with the chip demonstration. When Kay, so that's one of the students, uh, picked up the green and white sour cream and onion bag of chips, why would he expect anything different? After all, those are his favorite chips and they've always been um, the same. Um, is he wrong for judging the inside contents by the outside of the packaging? A lot of times we show up exactly how we want people to see us, but our insides, our heart, do, they do not match. We may have it all together and present a nice image, but we, we are holding grudges, resentment, and negative thoughts towards people. Yes. Um, so that's the, that was just the one lesson because my mom wanted to have like quick things for, for students I keep saying students because I'm an educator, but for the young people um, to really grasp a hold of really focusing on their insides because, you know, we put a lot of effort on our outside appearances. My second book talk is, talks so much about looking good on the outside, having it all together on the outside, but just horrible, not so great on the inside. So my mom had to do that because it's the, the kids at the time and the young adults were like, what I'm not, you know, I'm never mean to anybody or um, I show up as friendly, you know, just little things like that. And my mom was like, you can be around people, you can be cordial, but you're still having these ill, um, these ill thoughts or um, these, um, like I said, being holding grudges. And, you know, you've been around people where you're just cordial, but you feel something on the inside that is not good. And instead of being honest and not being around them you still do that. And that's just as bad as if you were, to me, that's just as bad as if you just came out and said what you wanted to, to say to that person. So the scripture um, is two scriptures. So I started one with Jeremiah 17, nine from the message version. The heart is hope, hopelessly dark and deceitful, a puzzle that no one can figure out. 
but I, God, search the heart and examine the mind. I get the heart of the human. I get the root. I get to the root of things. I treat them as they really are, not as they pretend to be. So regardless of what you do all over here, it's your um, intention. So um, when I do my workshops with like administrators and things and helping them to understand intention versus impact, um, and they're like, well, I didn't mean it. Yeah, but it's the impact. So whatever was in your heart behind what you said, that comes out and that is the that is what people feel, not what you intended to say. So then um, it goes with questions to consider because my mom always wanted people to be in action. Um, we don't want to be judged by others, but we are presenting a counterfeit version of ourselves. When was the last time you trusted the package and presentation of someone and you were disappointed once you discovered the contents of their hearts? So this was really good for the young adults, especially in, um, in our 20s back then because especially for the girls i mean the guys too was like they had to look a certain way they had to be presented a certain way they had to have the certain degree or the job or the title the car you know all of that surface level stuff which is nothing wrong with that but then it's like once you got to know the person it was like man you you suck you are horrible you know um and a lot of times we don't we try to dismiss the the real stuff because we were so enamored with what we saw on the outside um, and then it says, do you find yourself changing your outward package and boosting your self presentation to cover up the real you? If so, think about why you do this and how long can you maintain this false story? So it's, um, yeah, it's almost being like a narcissist. You know, you have this or the counterfeit or the representative, you, you have this image that you portray to people and it can be exhausting being two different people. Um, and some people crack under the pressure and some people can manage it for a very long time, but you'll, you'll start seeing cracks um, along the way. So it's like, how, and it's like, do you want to keep doing that? It's like, look, take me as I am. This is what you get. I'm not saying you shouldn't constantly self-improve because you should, but if the inside isn't matching, so what is the point of you being this glamour girl but you still feel this this um, deep, um, low self-esteem or um, lack of self-worth on the inside. It's only go so much that the makeup and the hair and, the, and all of that is gonna cover up. And the same thing for guys who always focus on the name brand clothes or have to have the right lineup or edge up or you know have this image. But if you don't feel worthy as a man, um, none of that else is gonna start showing up. And it says, no matter what we do, how well we dress up, or the stories we tell ourselves and others, God knows the inner contents. And then I wrap up the scripture with Psalms 139, one through three. God, investigate my life, get all the facts firsthand. I'm an open book to you, even from a distance. You know what I'm thinking, you know when I leave and when I get back. So that is the book. Um, that's day four of Mornings with My Mom. And like I said, I shared this because it is helping me. And I hope that you hear something um, and, and you're able to grab some nuggets for your day. And those of you who've been following me before, you know, when I do these series, I always end the second part with the, with the health, health and wellness, um, especially for the mothers or the mother figures. You'll hear me say mothers and mother figures because everyone may not be a biological mother, but they're still taking care of, you know, children, even adult age children. We have our grandmothers out there, aunties, you know, and things like that, mentors. So anyone who's a, a mother figure, if you're not taking care of yourself, and I hear so many mothers who are saying that they put themselves last, um, everything's for their kids, they sacrifice for their kids, and, and you should, but what is the point of, sacrificing so much that you're not around or available <clears throat> excuse me that you're not around and available for them and so health and wellness um we have a mother's day promo with my e-commerce business some of you know that i started an e-commerce business um so there's a few things that you can do um, because this is a call to action i want you to be an action take your mother or mother figure you can get the book with the link is in my bio. Get several of them because it's 50% off now. So get them as gifts. Get bundles. <clears throat> you know, good four or five because the book is like seven or eight dollars. So just get a few of them. Um, and then support. So fill up their, their spiritual 
um, well-being or give them some words of encouragement and then help them with health and wellness. So I'm just going to take my supplements. I'm not going to go into detail with all of them because I want to talk to you about the Mother's Day promotion. So I take liquid collagen in the morning. So this one is called Skin. And then I also take liquid collagen at night. This one is called Life. And I can't wait to give you all the updates because this is my first round taking both. And then I take the, I started back taking my fat burning pudding because now I'm back on track. I'm not just maintaining at this point. I'm actually doing eating right and back to like I'm doing working out so I can actually because my body on the inside it is shaping, but now it's like for it to anyway. We're not maintaining, we're doing what it's supposed to do. Fat burning pudding has been amazing, and I can tell the difference when I have I didn't take it for like two and a half weeks straight on purpose. So I'm back starting now, and that is the coconut lime flavor. It comes in different versions, and then I also take a liquid vitamin, like a daily vitamin, and this one has minerals. Um, some people take um, a pill. I just find that when I take anything liquid, it absorbs faster. So that's what I do. And then, because I was taking a lot of supplements in the morning, it, it, it was just too much for me, so I split it up morning and night, and things were a lot better. So at night, I take my fancy Traybiotic, which is a prebiotic, postbiotic, and a probiotic. You don't have to be fancy, but it really, really works. Uh, but I've been recommending everyone to take the probiotic. All right, and you can message me for any of those. All right, so the Mother's Day promo is really talking about the skin. Um, my mom, she wasn't like deep into having like this whole line of skincare, but she understood the importance of skincare. But she focused a lot on high quality products for me because I didn't have great skin growing up. Um, my high school pictures, I had like all these like acid spots um, happening. Um, I used to have like really bad dark like um, dark spots on my cheeks. Um, and then, hi, Coach Val, business strategist Val. Um, I used to have these dark circles and things on my cheek. I used to have this big, huge, like big pimple on my nose. And this was high school, y'all. That is, you know, this is the, that's the most vain time in your life. And I was a cheerleader. So I'm out there, rah, rah, uh, Friday night varsity team, this big pimple on my nose. But my mom will always spend money on high quality products for me because she knew and I started wearing makeup early and people were like, oh, you wear makeup because I love makeup. And it was like, look, back then, it wasn't that my mom let me have makeup, but she knew high school could be the way it is. So um, so now I'm grateful. Like, you can look at my skin. I don't have on any makeup, you know. Um, and it's because of, one, it's because of the liquid collagen. Two, is because I'm drinking more water, of course. But the liquid collagen has been... Um, really helping the, the water do what it do. And then on the outside, so that's on the inside. On the outside, I started with um, three products. So I do have a, a, a cleanser and an exfoliant, but the, the magic comes from the sale proof of the company. So I told y'all that e-commerce was more than just um, collagen and weight management. We got a lot of stuff happening and you'll start seeing the links in the bio for the, the Mother's Day promo. This sale proof, kit right here this combo is everything so i wash my face i do i did an exfoliant and then i use um i use this cell infusion mask and I, I may come on one of these slides and do it but when i put it on it bubbles all up and it is it, like it infuses into my skin and like kind of plumps it up right and then i ended with this serum so the serum like look we all fancy over here Cell proof really gets underneath the skin and plumps it out as well. So then I saved this part for you all because I do believe in showing you demonstrations. This is the moisturizer. People have talked about this moisturizer more than any of the skincare products, right? I just think when you bundle things, you get a better deal. But look, so can you see it? Don't show out. Okay, I was like, don't embarrass me. So look, I pumped it out right and it has this kind of like light orange scent um it, it smells nice and 
with my skin that is super sensitive, I really was looking at something that, um, and oh, ladies, don't forget, get your neck and your decollete too. Don't just put your, moist, your, your skin products here. They should go all down here. So, um, like I said, my, my mom, she, she dabbled into Mary Kay and all of that. So I always knew the importance of skin. Um, so then when I became older, I really started going to high-end products. Now, so I do high and low because certain products you don't need to spend that much money on, like a cleanser, in my opinion. But when it comes to things that really sit on the skin, that's where the, the money should reside, <laughs> right? So... I did that um, because my mom invested a lot into my skin and it's like you only get one skin and now I'm doing this routine and regimen so when um, I have um, children we can start early and then um, SPF comes later on because even though we have melanin we still need SPF but I don't have the SPF for this product line so I'll put the link in the bio if you want to treat yourself as a mom to get some nice glowing skin along with some collagen or if you want to give a gift to your mom, we have a promo coming where you get some products for free. Um, I'll make sure those links go in my bio. And then if you look into my stories, you will also see um, some of the promo things that are happening. Um, so yeah, this is all about Mother's Day, treating yourself, um, Mother Figure Day. And even though I'm not a mother yet, and I was like, look, let me prepare my body what I've been praying for. Let me put some routines and habits in place because I don't need to be scrambling because I may end up with a, with a daughter. <laughs> and it's like, I don't need to be scrambling trying to learn things um, to guide her. And look, this is the time to put in the work. All right, so that's all I have for you. Um, make sure you go check out the book. That link is in the bio. Get a few, encourage someone. And then you can also encourage them with some wellness products as well. So thank you for joining me. Go be well, go be empowered, go be bold, and go be brilliant. Until next time, bye.